We've had two meals with Jesus so far. First the tax collector traitor Levi and his sinner friends, and then at Simon's house when Jesus had his feet washed by the sinful woman. Jesus welcomed the people that everyone else would have pushed away. We are hearing another exciting truth about Jesus from Luke's Gospel today. Today's story is about a really, really big picnic. That's why I think we should probably have lots and lots of bread. I really hope Jesus packed a big lot of bread for his picnic. Let's find out. The disciples had been going from village to village to teach about God's kingdom. They'd been doing some amazing things. Now they were back. They wanted to have a catch up with Jesus to tell him all that they'd done. So they tried to get away to a quiet place near a small fishing village. But Jesus was pretty popular and when people heard where he was, they all went to see him, hear him and get healed if they were ill. Jesus welcomed them all. He talked to them about God's kingdom and he healed the sick. Before they knew it, it was late. People had been there for ages. What's that? Thunder? No, it's the sound of hungry tummies. Jesus' disciples came to speak to him. They asked him to send everyone back home because they needed to eat and they were in the middle of nowhere. Uh-oh, it looks like there's a bit of a problem. Lots of hungry people and no Tesco or Sainsbury's around the corner for people to buy a meal deal. If only they had lots and lots of bread. Jesus replied, you give them something to eat. What? Did Jesus see the crowds? Did he realise that they were in the middle of nowhere? Imagine the disciples' brains trying to do the maths as they looked at all the food they had. They had five loaves of bread and two fish, divided by so many people they could barely count them. They couldn't feed everyone with just that. The disciples couldn't do it. One picnic could not feed 5,000 people, but Jesus could. He took the food, gave thanks, broke the bread up, and then the disciples gave it out. Everyone ate. They were full and satisfied. They were even leftovers. A big question was answered that day. Not, what's for lunch? But, who's this man? Only God can feed his people when there is no food. God can make something from nothing. But Jesus did that too, because he is God. He is God who came down to his helpless and hungry people. At that big picnic, Jesus gave them what they needed, a full tummy. But Jesus offers so much more than one miracle meal. He is the one who can fill us, satisfy us and help us. We need Jesus. He is what we need most. And when we have Jesus, we will be satisfied.